we get in. Hello guys, welcome back to Set Confessions. In this video we'll look at Pingu 3, Hide and Seek from Night Night 2. Um, this is the second Pingu video I'm going to cover. More well, second last actually, to be honest. Um, I've only had these two ones, you know, Building Igloos and Hide and Seek for many years. I never actually owned any more, unfortunately. Shocking it is, but hey yo, what parents give you get all, all sorts of things really. So have my, you have a little, you have a little, little taste of Pingu just here for these two videos, even though he might return later on in compilation form, if you know what I mean. So Hide and Seek, eight episodes again from the first series, and I have to admit, this one's probably my favourite out, out of the two. Building Includes is great, but Hide and Seek has more memorable stuff on this one. So we'll get through it. So first up we've got is Snowball Fight, which is the actual title for Hide and Seek. Believe it or not, because the Hide and Seek thing is a bit, you know, a bit... I would say understated, if you know what I mean. Even though they do they do hide and play tricks on each other while fl f f doing snowballs, but it's actually a uh, snowball fight, really. And it's great, actually. Very funny. It's just with Pinker and, Rob and Robbie, the seal. And yes, fantastic. A nice way to start off. It's quite good. And then we've got school time, another one. Pinker goes to school, you know, learns, again, learn about different stuff that they're, they're, they're gonna catch very much and that type of thing very much. I think it's a nice little, nice little one. Um, then we've got Pingu and the Barrel Organ. Just trying to think of, the, think of the ones again. Pingu and the Barrel Organ. Another great one. I like the design of the organ that you use. They like that, what do you call it? A rotating wind-up organ. That's actually pretty, that's pretty good. I mean, it's a nice episode. I remember it fondly, I do. So yeah, instant classic, really good. Um, that's four. What else have we got? Then we've got Sledging. Uh, another gold one as well. Again, these ones are like are very are nicely done. They go well. They're not too bad. Very nicely, I think. You know, um, Stubble Fight and, and Barrel Log and so far are great. You know, great standouts of the of the of VHS. And this one's quite good as well. You know, Pingo playing with his is a wooden wooden sleigh very much. And that's all thing with his mate, with his friends very much, so fair enough. I mean, it's an alright episode, really. Um, you know, school time and sled sledging, that's all the okay episodes, very much. And then we come to Little Accidents. One of my favourites, my personal favourite Pingu episode of all time, one of my absolute favourites. I love it. I think it's, it's out of the question. It's bizarre, and it's strange. It's very nostalgic for me as well. Like, if you think of, like, um, especially the drink spot, very much, I always, I always, that sticks out very nice, that does. Um... This episode did cause a lot of controversy when it came out um, because I think most of, the, most of this world had to censor it very much because of the urination scenes very much. You know, I, it's bizarre because you never actually notice any characters urinating, only in the show. They're quite bold. I mean, sweet, the sweet, the Swedish company, the, the company who did it, have, have like, I've got some balls they do. It's, so that's pretty, it's striking. It is striking and really good. I mean, most of the places have, have it censored. Very much, they cut everything out and make it. You know, I don't know what they actually did if they made new scenes and everything like that. All the short, all just completely short. All you stop footage. I don't know that sort of thing. If you live outside the UK, but here, I think Canada as well. Actually, Can um, people in Canada are actually are similar to the UK. You know, for vile stuff really. If that, no, that weird bars tends to taste of humour sometimes. Canada. Uh, that was not the case. So they end up, you know. We, you know, just keep, keep it um, uncensored, pretty much, if you know what I mean. And, and yes, it can be a bit strange, really, when you look at it. It's like, um, you know, just Pingu and Pingu pissing over the place. It's strange. I mean, I think for I think for obvious things, of course, you know, Pingu's young, potty training, that sort of thing. Of course, <laughs> trying to steal each people's potty and everything else. It's, it's, it's hilarious. And him not trying to reach the toilet, so I can see that. I can definitely see that. It's like a bit of a high toilet anyway, if you look at it. And he's just peeling, pissing on the floor. <laughs> well, that's just one of those things. And afterwards, he just builds the steps, you know, of course, just to sit on the toilet. It's a bit weird seeing that dad, you know, having his backside bit flap up very much. I mean, that's... I don't think... I think that's like what penguins do in real life. I don't know, really. It's just a weird thing. Like, he's just flapping when Pingo tries to get the doorbell. Uh, he, he gets a doorbell just to 
distract his father very much away from the toilet and, you know, it's a bit strange actually if you see me bobbing up again if you watch the episode very much, but for me, that is absolutely brilliant. It's one of my favourite episodes of all time from the show. Really good stuff. It's along with building igloos and, you know, something else like Barrel Organ as well, you know, and a Snobble Fight. You know, that is top notch. That is really one of my absolute favourites. Maybe top three episode of Pingu of all time. It's brilliant. Also, you might include in the, I've also included in the thumbnail as well of just him just itching to pee, if you know what I mean. So, nice little nod there. That is brilliant, that is. Um, well, so that's episode five. That's number five. Then we've got Ice Cave. Ice Cave's another good one. That's more like a. I would say like a. That's more event adventure type, that is. You know, just, you know, going out to see a place, end up getting trapped and end up in the ice cave and trying to find the way out. That very much. That's good as well, that is. That's good. Um, Jealousy, one of my least favourites of the VHS. You know, there is stuff like that. I'm just, you know, I'm not very, so very, you know, sort of. I think it's when it comes, like, when Pingo and Pinga are sort of up against, um, up against each other sometimes. That's fine sometimes in some cases, but I think with this one, it's like, it's demanding, it's like it's demanding attention very much, and that sort of thing. Um, even though it's not, it's not like Pingo Runs Away. Pingo Runs Away is actually pretty interesting because it's so, uh, interesting bits and pieces, of course. You know, what it leads up to, of course. Just say it doesn't really lead up to anything very really much. You know, just pining for attention, of course. I think it's like an early one, like sometime after when Pingo is born, after the, something like after the egg, very much, I think. I think so, actually. And then finally, we've got Pingu Circus, another instant classic, another memorable one for me. I love it, love the music as well. It's a, it's it's like um, out of bottle type. Um, it's like um, not involving anything of, of of issues or anything like that. It's just them putting on the show. So it's basically like standalone type. I've got you know just it's on standalone type thing very much. I really love it. You know, um, always struck me with the arrows because I remember saw we watch it. I think that's that rings bells. That does that definitely rings bells. And it's then put on the circus. They do and they do like weird arrows like of, of like flashing stickers or something like that on the, on the snow when people are just looking up and bending down and everything else it's brilliant you know of the, and then being you know to themselves colour blue being clowns a bit like the blue man group in a way sort of but it's again memorable it ends up a high note it does this VHS and I love it standout stuff really good I mean barrel organ snowball fight little accidents finger circus Tom notch stuff really good you know they're in if I did a top 10 Pingu episodes, they'll probably they'll be in there. Definitely be in there. Along with a few others as well. So yeah, that's me I'd say nostalgically ran, um, commentating on Pingu 3, Hide and Seek. Or it's Pingu 3 Snowball Fight, if you if you want to correct it very much. But fantastic. Fantastic video. Out of the two, I'll probably say Pingu 3 is better. Nebo. Number two as well has has its moments as well, and they're, they're both great actually. They both go together nicely. Um, I don't I don't any I don't own any of a Pingu VHS after this actually. Or oh, did I get a Pingu DVD? I think uh, back in the day I probably did actually a Pingu DVD. Bump but I'm not going to talk about that. You know, probably not where I got it from actually. So just them two VHSs and we're done with Pingu. Anyway, thanks. Thank you guys for watching. As always, see you for the next video. See ya.